We've doubled the funding for the National Crime Agency. She's a Home Secretary who pledged to stop the boats, determined to succeed where her predecessors failed. On a whole range of measures, we've been working on a plan that is going to fix this unacceptable problem. That being 45,000 people arriving here illegally last year, over £6 million being spent a day on hotel accommodation. That is an unacceptable situation. Can I just get clarity on what you mean when you say you want to stop the boats? Because my understanding is that doesn't mean getting the number down to zero any time in kind of the short or medium term. I think it will be very obvious uh, to reasonable observers as to whether we've succeeded in our pledge to stop the boats. You say it's clear and simple. Will, will you set a target for where you want the numbers to be this time next year? I think it will be very obvious to the British people and the public as to whether we've succeeded. The British public won't accept us every year and come up with another piece of legislation. But behind closed doors, the politics. Hang on a second. Let's have a bit of common sense here and um, do what we need to do to safeguard the British public. The common sense group of right-wing conservatives meet regularly to talk small boats. When the people voted to take back control, they meant their borders, they meant their sovereignty. They've pushed for limits on the role of European judges, concessions granted by the government today. From Worthing to Walthamstow, the British people want to stop the boats. But as the illegal migration bill reaches its final stages in the Commons, not all conservatives are happy. I would say rather it's a slap in the face of those of us who actually care about the victims of modern slavery. Isn't in fact, my right honourable friend, in effect asking this House to give legislative sanction to at least the possibility that a Minister of the Crown will deliberately disobey the international law obligations of this country? The eyes to the right, 289. But in the end, the bill passed with little trouble. One of the reasons that Conservative MPs feel so passionately is because the issue of small boats is something that comes up again and again on the doorstep, particularly in places like this with hotels housing asylum seekers. They've become a flashpoint in the argument about immigration. This is Datchet in Windsor, one of the many places where hotels have been boarded up to house migrants like Umar. Since COVID-19 came, I'm in the hotel. So it's been months you've been in there? Yeah, I've been, I've been, I come here 2015. A long way from Westminster, migration matters. Locally, it's, of course, it's the cause and tensions. The same people that used to let their children out at night, they don't let them out anymore. Because, and you have to give them, they're honest, you know, because you don't know who's in there. The small boats bill may be sailing through Parliament, but it's people in places like this the government need to win over. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.